What's up guys, welcome back to Austin Make Stuff. This week we're gonna work on getting a little bit of privacy in our RV. Before we get started, I kinda wanna show you what we're about to get ourselves into. What you're gonna need are a few things. You're going to need a curtain. This one is a blackout curtain that we bought from Target. My mother-in-law sewed it to the exact size that we need uh, with a little bit of overhang to help kind of seal the light out. You're gonna need boards to go across the top that pinch the fabric to the wall uh, and you can just screw that into the wall. Uh, make sure that your screws are not too long that they go outside of the camper. So you wanna keep it, uh, you know, uh, the right size. You're gonna need some snaps, which I'll leave a link in the description. You're gonna need some leather straps to hold the curtain up. And you're also gonna need a dowel in the bottom to give it a little bit of structure. So when you roll it up and snap it, that it doesn't sag too much in the middle. And then also we added an extra snap at the bottom in order to really seal out the light uh, in the bright mornings. That's what we're gonna get started building today. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, share it with an RV buddy, because they'll probably like this idea. Okay, so I went to uh, Lowe's and I've got two boards um, that are oak and I cut them both down the middle. So now I have four boards that are about two inches wide and about three quarters of an inch thick. And I've got four of them here. So I'm gonna take some measurements on the first one, make a little bit of a template and make sure that I match all the boards to be exactly like the first one. So I, want, I know I wanna do five screws across it. Now I'm gonna make sure that I get this centered on the board and drill out some holes. Okay, so now that I have the first one done, I can use this as a template and drill out the rest. And just so I don't mess up, I'm gonna put a screw That'll go through both and kind of hold it in place. I'm gonna come about five inches in on both sides and make a mark. Again, I'm just gonna mark it on the first one. And I'm gonna carry the drawing across to the rest. So now I have a pencil line that goes across. And I'll come back right in the middle, the center of these. And that's where I'm gonna put my button attachment. All right, I'm gonna do that on every intersection. So now that I've got exactly four of these, I am going to wait for my wife to get home in order to install them because I think that makes it much easier. One person doing this is a bit difficult. We'll wait till she gets home. So in the meantime, I'm going to spray paint some of these screws because I want them black. And just to introduce you, this is our spray paint shoe. I got a bunch of these straps online. Uh, actually, it's just one roll of leather that I found online, and I cut them all the length. 
I'll leave the link in the description for that. And then also these buttons that snaps. attach, these snaps that attach to uh, these ones that I installed earlier on one end. So I'll leave a link in the description to the tool and the buttons that you need for that. But so all there is to this is just installing these. Ashton, will you hold this up? Mm -hmm. Kind of out a little bit like that. Is to install this directly underneath where that snap is. All right, one down. Three to go. Okay. That's gonna go right. 